Good morning, everybody. Uh, what is today? Today is going to be February 19th, President's Day in the United States. Awesome. Uh, let's do something. What should we do today? I do not have a plan. That's kind of normal, isn't it? Uh, if you guys wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button, we are so ever so close to hitting that 30,000 that I want. Uh, I keep saying, I keep saying that. And we're just, it, it is creeping up ever so slowly. Ay, oh, ay, ay. It will be when it will be. We are at 29,982. So, um, yeah. We're very close. Uh, excuse me for just a second. Let me let me give my son a little a little text back here. I'm filming now. Well, text. Done. Filming now. I will text when I'm done. He wants to talk to me. Okay. Uh, let's do a let's do a from Lena. Let's do one of these cards, or do one from here. And what color paper do we want? I'm gonna I'm gonna choose a paper before I even see the the thing. We're gonna do this one. Oh my. Embedded. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I got I need to zoom in. I need to keep Look at her artwork. Oh, it's going to it's going to have a struggle focusing there. Look at that artwork. Isn't that absolutely stunning? Alina, you have outdone yourself and it is so tiny. Look at the size of my finger. It is so tiny. Anyways, what do we do? We can either do rectangular shapes, triangular shapes, or circular shapes. We're going to draw the shape. And then we're going to aura it. And then we're going to, looks like we're going to draw the shape again using this as the outside line and then aura it inside and again as many as we can fit in there right look one two three but leaving a larger gap on one side so whichever side we choose so they're embedded one within the other ah what to do I'm not sure what I want to do, but that's cool. All right. You know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to just make a random. Let's, let's do. We're going to make some random shapes. Is that perfectly square? No, it's not. Um, I'm going to make some random straight lines. which will create shapes. I don't want too big. I mean, I don't want too small of a spaces because I want them big enough to uh, to make auras in. So I'm just going to do like that. Did you see what I did? No, you were way too close. You just saw nothing, but you can't see it anyway because it's a very light pencil mark. Up we go. Let's see. What did my son say? Okay. Okie doke. I think I'm fixed. 
order has been received. Okay. All righty. Did a little bit of work for work this morning. My boss texted me. I had made a uh, big hours sign for the front of the store, and he wanted a smaller one to fit in the little frame. And um, so I did that. I left. I left work a little bit early yesterday. Only by about 45 minutes, but I wasn't feeling well yesterday. Came home, laid down on the sofa, and promptly fell asleep for about four hours. And then got up, ate some dinner, went back to bed, and I feel much better today. I slept a bazillion hours. I mean, between the the four hour nap and the like 10 hours I was in bed overnight, 14 to 15 hours, I feel so much better. Just wasn't feeling very well prior. Okay, so we're just going to just aura. And see what happens? Shall I do one shape first and then go in and do, the, or shall I aura everything first? I'm going to just do one shape first. So we're going to use this side, this side, and this side as the anchoring points. And then aura that. that. And then we will just continue on. See what happens. Let's do a let's do a talking point here. Let's do a memories today. What type of profession did you want when you were a teenager and how did that change as you grew up? wanted to be a teacher. I uh, went to school to be a teacher. I guess that's what I'm sort of doing now on this channel, more or less, kind of, sort of, right? Um, but I got all the way up to student teaching and found that as much as I enjoyed teaching the children, the rest of teaching was not for me. The administration, the dealing with parents, the dealing with required teaching modalities, the constantly changing stuff from the state requirements. Hated it all. Absolutely hated it. And it's funny because my BFF, she went to school for journalism. She wanted to be a writer. And she completed her coursework to be a writer. And now she is an art teacher in the public schools. 
Th th I think that's really funny how our paths changed like that. But I do enjoy, I do enjoy the teaching part of teaching. Does that make sense? Which is probably why I'm doing what I'm doing now. Even though I keep saying I'm not a teacher, I guess technically I am. And because uh, I keep saying we're learning together, I'm not teaching specifics. We're just learning together the different patterns, but I guess as I as I talk, uh, the more I talk, the more I figure I'm teaching something. Sometimes I might just be teaching life lessons. Sometimes I feel like God puts on my heart to to say things that I don't even know why I'm saying them, but I figure somebody needs it because I was I was led to say what I said. So I guess technically I'm still a teacher. I recently Listen to a, a new podcast that my friend f was featured as in podcast number three. I need to tell you what it's called. I've forgotten already. Uh, let me search for my friend. Uh, it's a podcast called The Nomad Chronicles. And I was very much moved by it. So if you are interested, I recommend it. They're not very long. They're like half hour episodes right now. As of the time I'm drawing this, there are only three. By the time it goes out, there'll probably be like six or so um, episodes. Uh -huh, but I'm I'm finding it fascinating to listen to. I don't really only have room for two of those. I don't have room for a third one. I don't think. I guess it can go like that. big lesson I got out of especially episode number one was that you don't have to necessarily go to church or follow a particular um, man-made religious doctrine in order to follow Christ and Christ's teachings. And church, church might begin to look different for people. That's what the main point of the podcast is. The church is, church, church is starting to change and it's starting to look different for people. And And there are many people who are on a path of spiritual 
seeking, that don't like the what's what what the the church has become. And I'm beginning to fall in that category. And as you guys know, a lot of a lot of my drawing has been done in church as I sit there listening to the message. And um I was unable to articulate how I've been feeling lately. And this podcast sort of did that for me, which was really quite cool. I'm trying to decide which which corner to to go to. I think I want to go this way. No, I think I want to go yeah. This way? something like that anyway has nothing to do with my profession does it has to do with my life journey we're all on a life journey gotten quiet. I have nothing to say. Nothing to say. Let's do another card. Have you ever been part of a cult or some sort of sacred organization? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> you have you have such a sense of humor, Lord. After what I was just talking about, do I think the church is a cult? No. Is it a secret organization? You know, some people might think so. Some people might think that the established church is a cult. And in some cases, I think that maybe that happens because um rather than spending time having a personal relationship with God, many church organizations are focused on following the rules of the organization. And, and conforming whether it's song or uh, prayers you know memorized prayers or um, in in our particular congregation there are uh, times where we all recite together a particular verse or writing and um, I can see how you would find that cult like I can I can I can envision that hmm 
which is why a lot of people, the churches across the United States and maybe across the world are finding fewer and fewer members because they don't feel like this is authentic. And um, I didn't realize that that's where, where I was feeling till recently. And that's, I'm feeling that as well. That the organized church is maybe not where I f belong anymore. And now I'm feeling like a nomad. And my friend who was on episode three, I didn't know she felt like that. I honestly didn't. Until she made mention that she was going to be on this podcast and I listened to it and I went, oh, interesting. I do believe, and I have felt for quite some time that that we're in a in an era of transformation, in an era of change and flux, uh, not just it, it, it it's a it's a post covid thing that has happened and that's okay i think there are times in our in in history where the established church has gone through um, metamorphosis and this just happens to be one of them, you know? Um, This is cool. I like how it looks. Am I going to want a color? Of course I'm going to want a color. People are just bugging me today. What the heck? What's going on? Turn that on. Lots of text messages today. I'm on this phone. I'm going to end it. Uh. Boss is texting me now. Hi, yay, yay. Okay. Um, 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 
Which direction do I want? I want... This way, I guess. What was I saying? I don't remember. We were talking about church and cults. This way, I think. This one. Okay. That looks cool. Don't know what it is, but it looks cool. We're going to color. What are we going to color? We're going to leave... This one was called Embedded. I like that side. I -M -B -E -D -D -D. And let's let's do some. do three colors of blue. With my pens. Got three colors of bluish color. They're more purple than this blue. So that's okay. That'll look good. I'm going to put the darkest one in the middle. I may have to color with the fine tip end. That's very hard to color with. Those don't have... Let's do another one, but let's do it out of this box. Tabletop topics. What would be the hardest thing about climbing Mount Everest? For me? Besides the breathing part? Is that what they mean? Uh, my absolute terror of heights? would uh, be the hardest thing and then the cold would be the next hardest thing but my absolute terror of heights yeah that would not happen climbing Mount Everest would not be a thing
you think I'm going to maybe put a little bit of darks and lights? Maybe. Maybe. Okay, that was that color. That one's done. Then the next darkest is this one. Ooh, that one's got a shreddy. And you guys have any podcasts you would be think I would be interested in? Uh, what are you guys listening to? I need more things to listen to while I'm working. So leave me leave me suggestions in the comments below. And I'm okay with podcasts that are long. Like I'm I'm fine with long stream content. Uh an hour or more is fine with me. I quite often listen to um some of the on YouTube I listen to the law law two people, Emily Baker and and others <coughs> when they do their live streams and quite often they're two to three hours and that's okay with me. That means I have to stop less frequently and change channels. Is that another text? Okay. Okay, that's that color, and then my lightest color. Oh, the other thing, maybe you guys can help us with this. The other thing is, is uh, if you are in the United States, um, we are thinking of changing our phone carrier. What carrier do you have? And... How well does it work? What do you like about it? What don't you like about it? Um, we need to be able to 
have service in Canada and Mexico because of the trips we go on. Um, sound quality, all sorts of things. What, 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 do, you, what do you guys use? Um, my son's been... playing with different carriers. They have free trials where you can try them out and see, you know, like in your area, if they work well or if you just don't have enough cell towers. And um, there was one, I don't remember which one, he tried and he sounded like he was underwater. Uh, and he was hearing weird noises on his end. So that was a complete no for us. But he's trying various carriers to see if we can't change what we use currently. probably going to be giving up our landline soon. Yes, I know. We still have a landline. I really didn't want to give up my landline number, but I wonder. It's a good question for me to ask my son. Do any of the carriers, if I give up my landline number, can they switch my new phone line to my from my landline number? Do I have to, or or is that is that where the landline numbers are just landline numbers in that they're not cell phone numbers? Because I would really like to not lose my landline number. I like that number. It's been my number for almost 40 years. What do I want to do now? I would think I want to just do a little bit of shading and highlights. see what this does. I might not like it. I might erase the whole thing, but we're going to start with this and see what it does. Let's see what that does. Let's see what that does with the... Oh, that ended up on three sides. How did I do that? That's all right.
like that or not? It's okay. I think it needs a highlight, but I think that's okay. We'll just do this and then we'll just highlight the other side and <coughs> see if I like it. And if I decide I don't like it, you know what? I can always just erase it. That's what an eraser is for. That's not bad. Then we want our pencil, our white pencil. out of lines there. Yeah, that's okay. Missed one. Missed one. Okay. How'll that look? That looks all right. I think my. I think my. My shading might be a little too dark for this one. So I'm just going to, I'm going to leave it there. I'm not going to smear it. I'm just going to take my kneaded eraser and just kind of tap a little bit. And just take off just a bit. So it's not quite as dark. Because I feel like this piece needs to be lighter than I made it. I made it too dark. Tapping is a good way to get rid of some of the graphite without removing all of it. There we go. That's better. All right, here we go. Embedded. That was an interesting journey. Uh, you guys have a great day. I will see you on the next video, which will be Wednesday. Um, Go out and do something nice for someone today. Make the world a better place one person at a time. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.